Okay. So hello everyone. This is Kushi Agarwal. I am a CSE undergraduate in third year at IIT Indore. So basically, I am deeply interested in mathematics and competitive programming. Like I started competitive programming last year in December, and till now I have crossed like eighteen hundred rating on code forces, which is huge. and i have various achievements also in the field of mathematics and competitive programming so i always find ways to engage more with mathematics and logics that's why i began exploring competitive programming now whenever something is related to maths uh, i usually get a lot of inspiration for it for example uh, like my je so when i started with my je i just started with my je preparation because uh i wanted to do something related relating with maths in my future so in 11th standard i i started preparing for je and then i got into iit in our csc department then after that for one two years i was doing maths silently secretly and not doing any classroom studies or missing lectures and i was actually missing lectures in my college and it was going all over and over so but then i realized ki i have to do something a uh, competitive programming skill relating with maths and logics so i came to know about cp so i started doing competitive programming from last year on code forces so i began from newbie and then rise till uh, expert and now till candidate master so it's it had been a wonderful journey for me till now and then like cp is something really important to me as what i do is ki uh, every time when i feel bad or when i have some bad moment in the whole day i just go on to the night part and from 8 to 10 pm if there is contest i usually give contest and if there is no contest what i will do is i'll just open a virtual one and will give the virtual contest so this is how my things work and like uh, usually i am able to solve a c d sometimes a b d like i am able to solve three questions to at least and d and a is the one like i always solve it b and c is like confusing parts so sometimes i do solve it and sometimes i not so now what happened is ki uh, eventually the internship season came as i was in second year moving to the third year so i have to set for internship so like at my campus the companies which were uh, the companies which were visiting were like software development companies so they are not of my interest usually because i am not so interested in software development i am towards maths and logics so i again started looking for the job interest in which i am interesting i am interested so i found like quant roles are good for me so i got a role of quant at evulent securities with a stipend of 4.5 l per uh, plus per month and then today here i am i have done various internships in my second year also like one i i am doing recently also right now like Uh, at scaler i am a problem setter apart from it in january 2023 i was also a mentor at senior only some of you might be knowing me so this is all about my journey till now so now i am open for questions if any one of you have just put it in the chat box just a second actually the voice here is
yes, I'm back. Sorry, so sorry for the disturbance. So I'll just look at the questions. Uh, it's by Ashutosh. You reached 1800 and year one year, and I'm struggling to maintain 1300. Any tips? I was uh, very bad at maths in my school to relate to. Okay, so um, there are no such tips. You have to be consistent. Like if your rating is 1300, you have to practice questions from rating 1000 till 1500 every single day. And you'll see improvement within one week also. Like from, th uh, from minus 200 to plus 200 of your current rating and you'll see the improvement. Then it's by Piyush. Hello, ma'am. Uh, I'm not ma'am. I'm currently in fifth sem. Even I am in fifth sem. Tell me how I use code forces efficiently. Okay, so uh, code. You can use code forces very efficiently. You just open code forces, have an handle over it. Then what you have to do is you have to give contest over there regularly. No matter if it's div four, div three, div two, div one. I mean div one, of course you can't give. Div four, div three, div two. And just give them. And then what you have to do is ki, uh, uh, see your rating and according to your rating, practice questions from problem set and uh, go to problem set and type the rating as like minus, two, minus 200 of your current rating to plus 200 of your current rating. Solve the questions of them, uh, these category and you'll see improvement in one week. Like if you practice it continuously. Uh, then it is... CP always works. Yeah, Harshit. Actually, uh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, CP always works. How do Tier 3 college students prepare for controls and are there any opportunities for them? So actually, I also applied for off-campus as I am from IIT, but even at our campus, font companies doesn't visit. If you know that there are various font companies paying a lot, like there is Optiver, there is BCG, and there is this Abulent Securities, then there is the Quora, you know, there are many companies, but uh, like going off campus for them and even you know there is Tower Research, Graviton all these companies are there but going off campus is little tough for them because they have multiple uh, coding rounds and multiple interview rounds so cracking them is really a tough thing because mostly what they ask is they rely on probability skills so if you have good probability skills and uh, dynamic programming skills you'll be good at it uh, Ashutosh, firstly, congratulations. Oh, thank you. And Ananda Gowal, CP karna sahi raga. Yeah, it's always good. And then, ma'am, fourth year, me CP kar sakte. Oh, you are in fourth year, don't call me, ma'am. Yeah, you can do CP in any year. And it's too good. Like, it always helps. Like, for me, CP is something ki, I do it when I feel bad. Or, because when I do CP, I feel regenerated. I feel like, okay, I can crack this question. I'm super good at something, you know. I may be bad at few things, but I'm good at other things. So it was kind of motivation for me to do CP. And then we come to what? I gave 52. Uh, uh, wait, where did I left last? I guess... Uh, where did I, can anyone say? My current rating is 1005 with uh, max with six contests. It's okay. You might have just started. Or even if you are doing it from long, it might be key. you are not doing it continuously. Uh, it's from Piyush. So it might be like you are not doing it continuously. Like, uh, can you tell me, Piyush, like, uh, when did you give the six contest? Like, when was your first contest? Hello, am I audible? Uh, uh, yes, I'm you are audible. Okay, so Piyush? Uh, is something wrong no. with the mic? Okay, one month ago, I got your message. Okay, one month ago. So you have just started basically. You uh, give every contest and you uh, see what questions you are not able to do. As but you have just... I can see like you have rating 1005. So Actually, uh, Zor, your mic is, you know. Hello? 
so uh, you have like 1005 with six contests so you have just started it so what you have to do is practice a lot of questions like practice questions within ranges of 800 to 1300 and from 800 to 1100 you should be solving the questions within the time frame of 10 minutes to 15 minutes and from 1100 to 1300 you should solve the question within the time frame of maybe 20 to 25 minutes and then see the solution so it will help you increase your rating and don't give entire day for a single question as it will ruin the time then there is best video resources for combinatorix from basic to advanced okay so combinatorix are basically related with probability only you can actually find books on com uh, combinatorix i'll share at the end of the meet so there are good books like i haven't uh, gone through video series for combinatorix personally like if you want it for uh, competitive programming then yusaku guide is the best best resource like uh it's it's from yash sivaj so uh yes you know about it hello no, ha, so you can go through uh what we say you sako guide for it and then the question is from uh Shrimula venkata krishna so how to get into hfts through mtech cs and iits okay so uh are you in uh I, one of the iits and and doing mtech and cs hello Hmm. Uh, Krishna, uh, Venkata Krishna, uh, so okay, like people can get into HFTs from any place, like it's not important, but what you should be holding is good skill. Uh, skill in terms of you should be having good skills in probability. Combinatorix, statistics, and dynamic programming is what required to get to land in HFTs. And of course, if you are from IIT and CSE, it's a plus point. Uh, for MTech, I can say that like, there is a guy who went into Graviton research and he was doing MTech in some of the IIT. Maybe it was IIT Kanpur and he applied for it off campus and he got selected for it. So there is no problem. But of course, for off campus, you must have skills. But HFTs usually don't hire fresher off, uh, don't hire campus for off campus for freshers, right? No, it's not that. Just visit the company's page, and if they and if you find like open role positions, just apply for it. But uh, what they look for is good CGPA most of the times. Okay, then okay, Mister Expert. Yeah, it be an option. I don't know what option. Then there is Mayank. Hi, they where you learned CPN. Okay, so people say a lot of things. They say ki just practice on CF, CF. Yes, you can be really good just from practicing at CF. But if you want to look for some logic part, then refer Yusaku guide. Even CSES is also a good source. And like my personally favorite sites were CSES, Spodge, Sometimes add coder and code forces though every time, like it's so too good. I gave uh, then it's from Ashutosh. I gave 52 contests and I'm still 1200 at the rate 1200, sold about 350. Okay, so basically, uh, look, you are at 1200 and you have solved about 350 problems from 800 to 1200. Since you are at 1200, you should target the problems from 1000 to 1400. Once you start doing it, your rating will increase. From 1000 to 1200, you should be able to do it within 5 to 10 minutes. But then from 1200 to 1400, what you have to do, Ashutosh, is uh, take time from 20 to 25 minutes and try solving them. You'll see changes within a week only. Then there is Jadi. Can you tell your quant internship interview uh, process beginning to selection? Okay, I can tell. So basically, I was tired of my campus placement, uh, campus internships, as they only provided me with software development internship, which I didn't want to do. I always wanted to do something with math so that I can enjoy my day. And in the night when I sleep, I sleep with satisfaction. Okay, that. I solved one of the hardest problems 
in the world today and i made good use of all the resources i had so i wanted to do something more challenging so i applied for a pond internship at abilene securities and then i had a coding round and a probability round then multiple interview rounds and last round was with basically owner of the company then it was like even the interview rounds were based on dp and probability i'll say dp less but more of probability and probability not like ke there is a jar and you have to bring just one word white ball out of it containing x number of certain colored certain colored balls it's not that it's a little bit complex so those were about the interview rounds uh i guess i answered the question from krish venkata krishna then piyush again as cp requires time so when we should do development okay so i am not a development based person i never did development as such i used to do cp only and i never wanted to go in the development field so i never focused on it even i never gave hackathon or anything like that then again the question okay i have answered this uh your gpa how does it matter it's an off campus opportunity ma'am you were from iit but i am tier 3 how actually at my college also pond companies doesn't visit they vis- if, even if they visit they visit for software roles and they pay really less like they may be paying 2 2 3 per month for software role but at other iit for the same role they are paying like 4 or 5 bell per month so it's of no use at my campus so even i applied off campus for quant role uh ashutosh have you done no i have not done any dev uh okay then cp concepts okay so this is likit so i learned cp concepts basically mostly from cscs and usaku guys they were really like good and mostly i don't learn even like that i didn't learn even like that i i just came across the question and when i'm not able to solve it i just went, i just went to youtube searched for solution and then came to know okay this concept exists when i know about the concept i just go to usaku guide and check if the concept exists and i'll just or read it and learn more from it how much minimum gpa required for off campus so for development companies i have no idea but mostly for quant based companies they ask for 9 plus gpa mostly then it's from uh, the question was from expert guy then it's bhanu pratap sharma I'm in fourth year and I'm specialist in four star at Courtship. I still say on or start working on four subject. So can you tell me which branch you are in? Uh, at the rate Bhanu Pratap Sharma. Okay, computer science. That's great. So. Uh yeah. so what uh so i still continue my cpo start working on core subject can you tell uh no so you can of course continue cp cp hardly takes one one hour a day like i used to dedicate my 2 3 hours to cp now but earlier i used to dedicate around 4 uh, 5 hours so you can always dedicate one hour to cp you know so you can work on core subject ha huh, you can learn new concept for half an hour like every day and you will be learning a lot if you learn even half an hour every day so and you can always focus on core subject as well there is no issue but i guess if you are in your fourth year then you might be having the btp sem no uh okay no you don't have that B- okay at our college we have something as btp sam okay uh then you can see core subjects also like dedicating half hour to cp is not a big deal you can always do that then there is from 
Ankan Nayak, I am stuck in 110290 for past 2 3 months. Currently doing third sem, always pro dev 2 C. Because you might not be practicing now at the rate Ankan Nayak. Look, your rating is around 1200. So make sure you practice the questions ranging from 1100 to uh, not 1100, basically 1000 to 1500. And see, you'll see improvement. So then you'll be able to solve dip to C. And try mostly like 1300, 1400, you know. And you'll be good with it. Even uh, like if, if you make A and B early, you'll be easily more than pupil. You know, sometimes making A and B in 10 minutes and you'll be specialist. <laughs> this thing also happened. Then again, it's from Yash. Did you follow the timetable for coding? No, I had no specific timetable for coding or something like that. Uh, my some days were like, I'm sleeping for the whole day and did nothing. So, and some day I'm spending whole day coding, and some day I'm spending whole day hanging out. So I had no specific timetable, but uh, on an average, I can say when I started coding back in December last year, I dedicated around four five hours per day on an average and now it's one to two hours per day then it's from Likit code forces for cp but for probability which website okay so probability we don't know it from any website we have books for it like there are many books available so i can suggest few books like they are kind of my favorite so the books are there is one from uh wait i'll tell you this is quite a good book it has solutions also so it's by frederick mosteller 50 challenging problems and probability with solution that's a good book you can of course refer to it uh like it can help you learn a lot so for probability we go for books I have no idea. As you said, you became CM in around 10 months. You must be having a really good strategy. Can you share? I just used to, uh, like, you know what? Uh, when I first became specialist, I became newbie in just two more contests. Then I became expert. I again became newbie in few contests. Like, my graph is so, you know, up, down, up, down. But whatever rating you currently have right now, you have to practice questions from uh, your current rating minus 200 to your current rating plus 200. It will help you gain a lot and learn a lot. The last one I did was... Okay, so... Uh, so, Ankan Nayak, your uh, thing is clear, na? Like, uh, you should practice it. Basically, till 15 minutes practice and you'll be start. And you then you'll see that you are able to make dev to see. Then there is Abhay Singh, I solved it. Then again. Uh, Jadeep, you cracked quant and turn off campus. Yeah, I cracked my quant and turn off campus. Ma'am, and uh, okay, so uh, if there are no companies visiting at your campus, uh, make sure you have skills and apply off campus for the companies. Like, take multiple referrals. Like, for software companies, what you have to do is take referrals and apply, then give coding rounds and practice somewhat of DSA from interview with Scalar or GFG. Then sit for interview and get it crap. Because like if companies don't visit your college, then at any cost you have to get your placement, right? So you have to apply off campus and make sure you take referrals. And we take referrals on LinkedIn. Like uh, on the company of your choice, approach an employee from that company and ask for a referral. He or she will be, uh, will give you a referral.
then ashutosh how to improve speed for solving abc i get stuck in b i find state o oh, it's same with me i am stuck in either b or c every contest i don't know why like i am always able to solve a and d but b and c it's confusing <laughs> so if you get stuck at b uh, just practice more like if you are practicing for one hour practice for two hours then i have done enough problems till 1400 that's the i do c after contest okay so uncle now you are able to do c after contest okay there is no harm in it but make sure you do it and practice c a lot like set one day for a week and practice C a lot of every contest. Uh, make sure you have done C and see what you are lacking in. Once you find it, you'll be really good when the next contest comes. So do C more. Suggest some good books for CP. As such, I haven't read good uh, like books for CP, but there is a book from CSCS for CP. Like uh, it's it can. I cannot share, it's in my laptop. You can find it on CSES website only. What else you didn't dev apart from CP? CP is not a part of dev. Uh, I didn't do anything in dev. Like, I didn't do once, yeah, I didn't do anything in dev. Uh, I just explored CP. And when I was exploring dev, I was getting frustrated very easily because there was something I've, uh, I didn't want to do those things. I I always wanted to do things with logic and dev actually required you to memorize ki okay, there is a particular way you have to, uh, which only which you can use to center a dev and it is quite complex. CP is better than it. Like actually getting a rating of 2000 or something is easier than uh, making the dev in the center. Do you use to participate in CF at Code? Yeah, I used to participate in all the contests. Which book, Didi, please repeat. Uh, for what book? For like probability or uh, competitive programming? Uh, Ashish Chaudhary. Hello? Um, hello? Am I audible? Okay, for CP, CP, like, there is a book from CSCS, but I don't think it will be of great use as it only allows you to solve questions from CSCS only. So rather, go for Yusaku, right? It's a lot. Even the world finals people from ICPC learn from it. So it's a use, you know? Then A B कैसे अब then this is from Shirish Kumar Jada A B कैसे करे बस starting के twenty minutes में I'm very slow I think even practice will oh uh, we don't have to self reject us like if someone else reject us it's fine but we can't self reject us like we should to always trust her you should be like we should to always trust us we should be like कि okay I'm gonna solve it at no cost so practice a lot literally practice a lot if you want to uh, solve fast just uh solve a lot of questions and you will see how it uh how it's done then do cgpa matters in off campus sometimes yes and sometimes no like there are there are few development companies they are even good also like they are too good but they do ask for cgpa you know like uh they even ask for 8.5 plus so yeah this is the sometimes cgpa does matter but of course if you have skills nothing can beat you you can of course try in many other companies better than those companies where did you practice dynamic programming can you suggest dynamic programming cf is the best resource i guess it has almost everything we need so practice on cf uh, you'll master dynamic programming. Basically, dynamic programming is little bit related to maths. You can basically use probability and combinatorics instead of dynamic programming many times. So I got interested in dynamic programming the time I realized, ki, okay, there are some things just probability can't solve. 
in O of 1. So we have to use dynamic programming. So it's really good learning dynamic programming. Then we have uh, how many questions you solved in a day? Mm, maybe three, four. Like these days, though, I'm not getting a lot of time as I am at my home. So I'm spending most of the time with my family. But maybe four or five questions a day when I was in college. And before that, like when I was, uh, when I just started with computer programming, I made sure that I practice around nine, 10 questions every day. Uh, no, recently I don't do the questions rating wise. What I do is I even hide those tags and rating. I just randomly open a question. I see even if I able to get a hint, if I'm able to get a hint from myself only, then I just start with it. And if sometimes I don't even, there are times when I don't even like get anything for it. So I check rating. And once I check rating, if it's more than 2200, I realize, okay, it's not for me for right now. I'll do it later on. But if it's less than that, then I'll definitely solve it at no. Uh, I won't see any other choice. Then I'll take a look at hint. If I'm not able to get solution from hint, I'll see tutorial. Even from tutorial, if I'm not able to get, then I'll search it on YouTube and find probably okay, what's happening. Yeah, I'm not able to solve it. So it's like this. Oh, Risha, want to get into trading firm, how to start at what text checks? Okay, there are no text checks required to get into HFT. What you actually require is a lot of CP, a lot of logical skills and a lot and a lot of probability. Like you should be really good at, you know, probability is gambling. People often say trading is gambling, but trading is not gambling. It's basically use of a lot of probability. So one should be really good at probabilities. Okay, then. No, my college tag is of no use in my case, like from Zoom. Because like uh, I'm from IIT Indore and HFT is mostly higher from top seven IITs only, and IIT Indore is the tenth one. So no, my college tag is of use. How did you get internet scaler? Actually, they were looking for people who are expert or above expert. So I randomly applied for it, and I got a uh, intern of problem setter at scaler. I got one seven point three six in first year. Okay, so you want seven point three six in first year. Mm. Actually, try to make it above eight because it's always good to have above eight. You know, uh, companies do allow for seven plus, but having eight plus is always on the safer side. And what about? reasoning and the book for probabilities so for uh, reasoning and books for probability i have a lot of books you know like uh, i can share my screen let me show it i'll share my screen and show um I'm sharing the screen you guys can actually see, so. Tell me if my screen is visible. My screen is visible, right? So this is, these are basically good books, you know, which I have followed. Uh, this is the medium level one. Yeah, it's toward Frederick and Mostella. And then there is this one also. It's also a good book on probability. Yeah, I'm sure you know first course in probability. You can find these books online very easily. It's not hard to get these books.
uh, you can find these books very easily. The preparation strategy for trading role is, yeah, trading role and software role is, there is a huge difference between them. So what is it key in my role? I'm not required to write code in Java or I'm not even asked to write a single line of code which developers do. I'm asked to build on strategies so that I'm able to write low latency codes in C++ or Python so that trading happens easily because every time we don't have human doing it. So for HFTs, we have computers doing them. From Dell, what is the process criteria and resources to prepare for trading firm if I am entire to college? To prepare for trading firm, what you can actually do is ki, just do a lot of probability, give a lot of competitions, uh, make your LinkedIn really active. Like my LinkedIn is really active. Even I have almost everything on my LinkedIn listed. So because you have to apply off campus only if you're from tired when you want to get into a trading firm. And then uh, apart from them, you can also give some tests. Like there is one NISM, it's uh, for trading guys only. So it, you have to basically score above 60% in it and it's kind of tough and it's even more than 1500 rupees. So NISM, yeah, that's also a good exam to get into a trading firm. It's always good to have NISM thing in your resume. Can you share YouTube resources for C++ GSA? Uh, okay, so YouTube resources for C++, I honestly didn't follow any, but... YouTube resources. I will see and can tell you. Like, uh, do senior not provide something like that? Yeah, I think senior does provide something like that. Uh, once check. Like, I didn't follow any YouTube resource. I just uh randomly open any video because like if I'm not able to get a solution of a question, I randomly open any video regarding that question and see if that helps me. I'm fine with the, like, there is no specific channel I have followed. Didi, share all book links, please, to Nori, sir, so he can attach all that. Okay, I will share it. No problem. Do they accept tier 2 students? Yeah, if you have skills, why won't they accept tier 2 students? What project can be made? To attract HFT recruiters, they don't look for projects. They look for uh, skills, achievements. They look for achievements more. Ki how many achievements you have and are they worth it? Even like one is if you have cleared NISM exam. Uh, so like it, the exam is NISM. Yeah, NISM is actually a good exam. So like uh. You can always look up to NISM is basically for derivatives and all. Uh, it just check if you have a good knowledge of a uh, market in India or even abroad also. So yeah, there is, and it gives you like, and it is valid for only three years, I guess. Yeah, it's valid for three years. After three years, you again have to go for it, you know? So for other, other informations, you can always check out my LinkedIn profile and you can connect with me there. So I'll stop recording for now. My new portfolio's ID.